Yo, yo, did the shorts cover? No? Fuck we talking about? Yeah, so, uh... I know it's been a minute since you heard from me. Uh... I hope you're watching and paying attention. Everything that Bigums was talking about is coming to fruition. And a lot of people just say they don't want to listen, don't want to put the pieces together. They don't understand. Listen. The same things that you're warning people about now, Bigum's been warning people since fucking last year. Get your fucking money out of those fucking big banks because they're fucking exposed. Big time. Should have been got into a credit union, people. Because Wells Fargo about to do what Bank, what Bank of America did. They about to start finessing some of y'all. Take your money, go buy shares to flip it in the market just so they can stay alive in the fucking world. Now, who do I think is going bankrupt? I mean, there's plenty, plenty of people, plenty of banks that could just fucking good night. I mean, we already saw the SEC saving Credit Suisse. So, in my prediction, I'm gonna say not prediction. What I what I think is that Credit Suisse is gonna definitely be next. Some say Wells Fargo, which I do believe is on the brink. Uh, and then the, the crazy part is, some people think their banks are just whatever banks that's that's not going down. They think that their bank is the best bank because they're not a brick and mortar, bro. You're going to need to look at that derivatives list. Okay? Silicon Valley was literally ranked 33 on the derivatives list, meaning that they owe in credit. You feel me? So, if your bank is 33 and up... <laughs> Your shit could get exposed. So that's to all y'all. Capital One. You know what I'm saying? Truist. All y'all. All y'all get exposed. So. And many people seem to not realize that. Thank you, Phase 6. Thank you, Phase 6, for exposing these motherfuckers. Now, Phil, what are you doing driving early in the morning? Well, first of all. Okay, let me tell you about my story, okay? You don't know what I've been through, okay? Listen, I spent all day trying to find AMC popcorn. I did. Well, Phil, why did you do that? Well, first of all, the no voters have already said they're not buying popcorn. So, it is my duty as a yes voter, because I understand the play, as a yes voter, that I'm going to go and buy some popcorn. Okay? So, we on the highway, baby. Let's get it. So, I'm riding to the next biggest city right now to get some goddamn AMC perfectly popcorn just in time for the Academy. Oh, yes. I am a movie producer. I am a movie editor, screen editor, screen writer, whatever you want to call it. Entertainer, baby. I'm going in. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to have me some popcorn. Look at that scream, baby. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Scream. Anyways, I heard it sucked. <laughs> heard it was trash. Anyways, I never liked the Scream series anyways. But I do like the character. You know, he looks cool. But other than that, there's nothing there. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad that, uh, Bigums talked to Peter Hahn. It was a great conversation and it's great to hear someone who has banking experience, you know, uh, just reassure, reassure my initial thoughts and everybody gave me shit on YouTube. Oh man, that don't make sense, man. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, my shares, all oh, my shares, my shares. Bro. 
the bank that you want to collapse got halted by the SEC. <laughs> they told them not to release the annual report for a reason. As soon as they would have did that, the stock would have tanked. And then it would have been over. And then they would have had to pay those fucking FTDs. It would have been over. But no, everybody seems to think dilution is a bad thing because certain words get demonized. Certain words that people use in this whole YouTube thing, they just get, it gets demonized. Well, I'm here to tell you, smart dilution is on the way. That's right. If you don't know what that is, you're about to find out. And if you're still in this play, even after the reverse stock split and you still complain, there's plenty of time to get out. Plenty of time to get out, people. So, do your due diligence. I'm going to the next, I mean, I went to so many different Walmarts yesterday. I'm going to the last one. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get there early enough. Hopefully, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm probably driving to nothing. <laughs> Why am I saying that? Because it's apes everywhere. You heard that right, baby. It's apes everywhere. The fact that the popcorn is probably already gone is a good fucking thing. That means our fundamentals. I see people buying boxes. They're not buying just bags. They buying fucking boxes. Hey, one of y'all, one of y'all boys out there, man, sell me a box, okay? That's what you can do. You can sell me a goddamn box. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, quarter pound, half a pound, whole pound. Okay. Yeah. Sell me a box, dog. Do yourself a favor. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah. Anyways, people. Um, don't think that your bank ain't going to be next to the flop. Get your money into a credit union. We've been warning y'all. Bigham's been said it. Cut the head off the snake. And look what happened. People cutting hairs off the snake. I got you. I got you. You ain't got it no more, motherfuckers. You ain't got it no more. All that credit that y'all got, that all that, yeah. My portfolio is is worth ninety billion, but in reality, motherfucker, you only got twenty billion. You ain't got shit. Get your ass out, motherfuckers. Yeah. Anyways, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm just fucking with y'all. Hey. The shorts cover? Not yet. Could be. Who knows? I'm getting some popcorn. I'll see y'all tonight at the Academy. Whoop!